What's up folks, you're here with the Fly Guy. Today I just wanted to take a quick moment just to share a tip and technique with you. Um, early in the spring um, and into the early summer, um, smallmouth bass uh, in boulder strewn streams will be feeding on bait fish. And uh, I use these foam divers uh, to get at these fish and not eat through my fly box uh, by using jig flies uh, and heavier streamers that may sink down to the stream bottom and get hung up and then you know I end up having to break them off. Um, so the technique that I use, as you can see here the fly I've got displayed uh, is a foam diver and that foam head I've coated that with fabric paint and that floats right on the surface of the water if I used a traditional you know monofilament leader and a floating fly line. If I, if I were to throw a sink tip on and use a fluorocarbon leader, what I can then do is strip that fly down and have it suspend over structure. And that's what I do uh, when I go into smallmouth bass streams that have a lot of large rocks in them that can really eat through your fly box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the leader system that I use. It's pretty simple. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you this. Now I make my own uh, my own sink tips. Um, this is one that I've made here. This is the loop that I've made. Um, this is a fast sinking tip. It's only about six feet long, um, and I just made a bomb proof loop on it. And you want a tip that is going to be, you know, anywhere between five and ten feet long, depending on the depth that you're fishing. Um, if it were me. For most small stream applications, you really don't need to go, you know, over five or six feet. Uh, it's just not necessary. So all you do is you've got your sink tip, and you run it down to the end, and you run a straight fluorocarbon leader. And I only use about maybe four feet. You don't really want it too much longer, uh, just because if you if you have too long of a leader. Uh, the fly will actually ride in almost like a U-shape where the fly is up near the surface and the sinking line is, is dipping down um, and it doesn't ride correctly. You want that fly to be as close to the sinking fly line as possible. So what you do is you run about four feet of leader, uh, fluorocarbon leader. I typically don't go down in tippet size uh, too much. I'll be fishing you know, 10 and 12 pound tippet uh, because these fish hit hard. Uh, and you get to see everything for the most part. Um, you know, when you're fishing a suspending fly and it's just going down maybe a foot or two, uh, depending on, you know, where you're fishing, you can see all those takes. Um, so after you use your, uh, your four foot leader, uh, you're just going to tie on one of your divers. Uh, divers are really good for this uh, because they can um, suspend very well uh, with the sink tip attached. Um, and in the next few clips, you're going to see uh, a trip I took to Little Beaver Creek. And this fly just absolutely made the trip um, all day. I was floating over the same type of cover. I was floating over, you know, small log jams and uh, big sections of riffle water uh, that were about anywhere from, you know, three to six feet deep. And they were just strewn with large boulders. So this fly enabled me to, um, you know, hang above that structure and entice those fish out. And I had a great trip. I caught a lot of fish. I hope you enjoy it. I hope this tip helps you uh, to be able to fish uh, different types of cover on your smallmouth bass waters. Uh, give it a try. I know you won't be disappointed. Uh, take care, and we'll catch you next time. Hope you enjoy.
folks, is a gorgeous Ohio smallmouth. What a fish. These fish fight so hard. Let's go back and get another one. fish is injured. He's got a broken back. This fish has got a broken back. Man, one eye and a broken back. He's still eating. All right, folks, Little Beaver Creek smallmouth. It's beautiful. 